Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more of the latest breaking news and current events. Betty White dies at 99, weeks before 100th birthday, according to reports Betty White has died at age 99, according to reports from TMZ and People. White, who was born in 1922, would have turned 100 on January 17. Law enforcement told TMZ White died at her home Friday morning. Betty White attends the SNL 40th anniversary special in New York. White, a passionate animal activist, has harsh words for the Minnesota dentist that killed a protected lion known as Cecil Weil on a hunting trip in Zimbabwe this month. You don't want to hear some of the things I want to do to that man, said the 93-year-old actress in an interview Thursday, July 30th. White was promoting a new block of programming on Discovery Family Channel called Pogust throughout the month of August, with shows, specials and movies about animals. She will serve as the host of Pogust and be featured in promos. A new coffee table book celebrating White's life and career was recently published as she neared the century milestone. The book by a veteran entertainment journalist details White's journey in Hollywood, including hosting an early variety talk show. Carol Burnett and Candace Bergen are among those interviewed for the book, written by Ray Richmond and titled, Betty White, 100 Remarkable Moments in an Extraordinary Life. A look back at the storied life of the beloved actress, comedian her witty style gave life to a roster of quirky characters over more than a half century. They included the oddball Rose Nilland in, The Golden Girls, and the outspoken caretaker on, Hot in Cleveland. She also drew laughs in the 2009 comedy, The Proposal, and the horror spoof, Lake Placid. The Golden Girls, the sitcom, which followed four women of a certain age living together in Miami, aired on NBC from 1985 to 1992. Nearly 35 years later, it continues to gain new fans and has inspired a wave of merchandising. Opening parenthesis. White once said her character Sue Ann Nivens in, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, could be, icky sweet, but was, really a piranha type. That role brought her two Emmys. A nationwide theatrical event of, Betty White, 100 Years Young, a birthday celebration, was scheduled for January 17, which would have been her 100th birthday. The one-day-only movie event is set to highlight moments the actress had during her career with appearances by Ryan Reynolds, Tina Fey, Robert Redford, and Morgan Freeman. It's not clear whether those event plans have changed following White's death.